Welcome. Welcome to American Alpha Male. I'm glad you're here. Blessed that you're here. All I ask that you do is participate in the question I'm going to ask. Give me some feedback. Let me know what y'all like. Let me know your dislikes. Hold on. zombies welcome back welcome back we are back so the topic of the day is i'm in honor of and keeping the legacy and memory of kevin Samuels going on are modern women doomed normally on this channel we call them the latest lady but because the algorithms aren't going to pick it up just yet we're just going to call them Modern women are modern women doomed. I want you to look at something that I've noticed that I brought up yesterday. If you're on the SETI NAS channel, tuning in. Thank you for tuning in. Take a look at this. Half of all states and nearly three quarters of all counties experience more deaths than births in their populations between July 1st, 2020 and June 30th, 2021, according to the U.S. Census Bureau population estimates released today. Natural change is a measure of the relationship between births and deaths. Natural increase happens when there are more births than deaths. Natural decrease means there were more people dying than babies born in a particular population. Areas with large aging populations often experience natural decrease in shrinking populations in the absence of migration. See, what they meant was human migration. Human migration is the movement of people from one place to another with the intentions of settling permanently or temporarily at a new location. And I get it. I know what y'all thinking. I know exactly what y'all thinking. When well, Nash, what does that mean? Break it down for us. Got it. What it means is this. It means that men are deciding to no longer have children. What do you mean, Nash? We're deciding to no longer give women our sperm, our seeds. Probably, more than likely, far more protected sex. Nash, how can you say that? I mean, can't women just go to the sperm bank and get sperm and there we go? That used to be the case. Except, what did I just say? We're deciding not to. We're taking our ball and going home. If you don't believe me, Watch this right here. More women than ever are using fertility clinics to start a family. And this has led to a shortage of healthy donor sperm across the United States and much more of the world. This is due to several factors, notably the increase of single women and lesbian couples interested in starting families. More single women and lesbian couples. The single women is the one who sticks out. I will not speak on any plights or anything about the LGBTQIA plus community. This ain't it. This is a man's platform. Women are welcome. They welcome. But over here, the way we operate, we're operating from the straight families, the straight single male. That's what we're doing. So y'all can take that and be pissed off about it and everything like that. I don't care. See, this is the I don't give a F zone over here. You can't cancel me. You can't stop me. And the more y'all try to stop me, I'm telling you now, it ain't going to do nothing but infuse those who support me to support me even further. So I suggest you just have a seat and sit your ass down. The ladies, the single ladies in particular, you're dooming and dooming and dooming and dooming and dooming yourselves further. Because now you have competition. Now you have competition from those who, and you are free to choose if you don't want to deal with a man at all. Perfectly fine. But you had to fight for a limited supply of sperm. Opposed to if you had a man, it's an unlimited supply. It ain't nothing but a good time and a bunch of noises made in the middle of the night. Possibly even during the day, during the morning. Who knows? See, one of the things that the modern woman has to understand is this. All the fighting and I'm super strong and all of these things. You are welcome to be that. More than welcome to be that. We will celebrate you, honor you somewhere else. See, this right here is what's destroying our country. 
It's destroying America because people are deciding to go, you know what? I don't value the small life. I don't value the small cities. I want the big city living. And I think I'm going to get up and go to a big city living and I'm going to walk and talk and I'm going to find a baller. I'm going to find a six figure high income earner. He's going to marry me, take care of all my problems. And all I had to do was say, you right there, I select you. It doesn't work like that. It used to be the ladies were a lot more friendly, smiling, and stuff like that. Not all, of course. No, no, no. Just a higher majority instead of the lower minority. See, the latest lady slash the modern woman, what they believe is they're in pure competition with men. No, you're not. No, you're not. I did roofing for a couple of years. Never seen a woman up there. You want to know why? The women were in the office. <laughs> the women were in the office. They were too damn smart to say, bro, I want to go up there. I want to go up there on the roof where the temperatures are elevated by at least four more degrees. So when it's 100 degrees, it's actually 104. You want me to take these shingles? That weigh between 65 pounds to 105 pounds? Break my back just to put them down there? Just a hammer? Are you out of your mind? They're too smart for that. So they decided this. We gonna run the business from the inside. Y'all can have the outside, you brutes. And they're not wrong. Ladies, you have been given the freedom of choice. And what you've chosen to do is something contrary to belief of what other individuals who thought before you were going to do. The modern woman is doomed because the competition is higher. Ladies, let me ask you a simplistic question. Were all the men who make higher earning, would they even select you? What is it about you that they would select? I'm just curious. Some of y'all, not all of y'all, of course. Y'all come in with debt. Y'all come in with trauma. Y'all come in with other kids. If this man decides to deal with all of those things and one day you decide to leave him, what did he do? What did he earn? He did nothing. He earned zero. What did you do? What did you earn? You earned stability. You took that. What you did was you allowed your kids and your debt all to be taken care of by this high earning man. See, the reason why they truly want a high earning man is the simplistic thing that we all know to alleviate the stress, right? Wrong. It's to get rid of stuff. These high earning men, they're landfills of dump and sewage. That's what they think they're going to do. They think they're going to walk up and go, hi, I'm Clark Kent. But you might know me as Superman. Can I be a Superman today? Is that possible for me to be your Superman today? Because what I can do for you is I can go ahead and take care of your kids. I can go ahead and take care of your dad. I can even take care of your emotional distress. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm Lois Lane. Lois Lane, party of me and one, two, three. Yeah, and, you know, two of them are the same dad, one different dad, but you don't have to worry about them. They're, you know, they're they're not even in their lives. They're in jail or they're some low-end job and don't give a damn about these kids, but they still have the emotional bond. They're still going to want to talk to their dads. Their dads are still going to be able to have free access to them, but you, you, you sit there. You play feeling daddy. That's what you do. You play feeling daddy. And then once he figures it out, kids ain't going to care about you. They're not going to hear. This is what's being proposed to. See, this is why the modern woman is done. She's finished. We don't want her. There is going to be a reckoning. And the reckoning is damn near already here. The reckoning is that modern women, you do not understand. We don't want you anymore. We used to because we were convinced we were fooled, we were bamboozled, we were sold. Bing stock beans. We were sold this BS of 
This is what you have to do to now succeed in the modern day. And it's not true anymore because we have numbers, we have stats, we have debt. We have so much stuff to point to. And then when we do it, they can't do anything but get upset. But the modern woman, how do you fix this? It's simple. Stop preaching this BS that you don't want a man, don't need a man, because we take that as truth. What you think is that by saying, I don't want a man, that some man is going to take that as a challenge and go, no, 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 you need me. You definitely need me. I could change your life. It's not going to do that. Why would we look at dichotomies and think that it's terms of agreement? No. To the latest lady, let me ask you this very poignant question. What the hell do you do? Because a lot of y'all mix up high earning and then add it to the three categories. No, you could be a high earning boy. You can't be a high earning dude. It doesn't make sense. Eh, actually, you can if I sit back and I think about it. But to be a high earning man is completely different. He comes with protection that you're always going to have, need, want, and desire. See, Men like to be told, I like you too. I want you too. I need you and want you here. We want to feel needed and wanted. But a lot of y'all refuse to do that. I sat down with a woman who told me, I tell a man I don't need him. I can do this, 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 and this all by myself. And I said, you wonder why you're single? Because everything a man would even want to do for you, you tell him. And if you're doing that, that's perfectly fine. Just live with your consequences and don't cry out loud. We don't want the tears and all that. Nobody loves me and everything like that. No, we tried. You're just unlovable. Did you ever think about that? Did you ever think the problem was you? See, the modern woman is done. She cannot proceed any further. Her damn rhetoric is going to be fading out because we're going to find women who are going to decide I'm going to cooperate with my man. To be submissive to your man, y'all tend to think of this as bondage and slavery when that's furthest thing from that. It means every once in a while, shut up. Everything doesn't have to be an argument or a debate. Just please be quiet for two seconds. Better yet, give me two goddamn hours. And if you can give me two hours, give me two damn days. Can I go without arguing with you for two days? Can you? Because so far in life, you haven't figured it out. No, you haven't. You haven't figured out a way to make your money work for yourself. How many of you ladies have investment portfolios? How many of you ladies actually really know how to comfort your man so he doesn't have to go find comfort somewhere else? A lot of men have been told, happy wife, happy life. It used to be that way for a different woman, for a traditional woman, for an old school woman. But the latest lady, mm -mm, the modern woman, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Ladies, if your man won't find peace with you, he'll bring war to you. Ladies, if you can take it a step further with yourself and go, hey, I haven't figured out this thing called life. I'm actually needing somebody to help me figure this thing called life. You're supposed to lead. See, once upon a time, there was a great woman who said, ladies, y'all out of order. And y'all got pissed off. Y'all tore her down and try to berate her into thinking what you guys think and all that. Ladies, let me tell you something. The man who will take care of you, who will please you and everything like that. He has to look at you as an investment. I know y'all don't want to hear that. What do you mean an investment? Can you sit here and sit on a couch and we can get along? Can you sit here and allow me to explore this thing called earth adventure and riches without you fighting me at every turn? Now, I'm not telling you to sit there and be stupid. If it's a bad deal, it's a bad deal. If you see it coming, you see it coming. But men respond to logic a lot more than emotions. And men, we typically come with five ways to get to where you want to be. 
But if you want that high earning man, he's going to need you to help him do exactly what he needs to do. Because he makes enough income, not for just you, not for just the kids, but for a legacy. So that y'all can sit there and do exactly what you want to do. You can go on these trips, these family trips, these business trips, all of these things. See, when y'all start thinking about the men who are the ballers, the shot callers and all that and everything like that, do you all realize like regular people, they're not? Do you all realize that they work about no less than 75 hours a week? Can you handle that? I don't know if you can. Because sometimes comfort isn't enough for y'all. Y'all think of adventure. You think of your wants, your needs, and desires. And you place those over everything else. And nobody's telling you to suppress those things at all. Not over here. But when you don't learn to control it, and it's out of control, you do what they call serving two masters. See, a double-minded person means that they can never learn a single skill. You know, a learner of many skills, but a master of none. When y'all holler out, y'all the most educated. Do y'all ever add in y'all have the most debt? Do y'all ever holler that? Do y'all ever holler you don't have the life that you really want to have? That y'all had to settle for the two-bedroom house instead of the five or four-bedroom house? Do y'all y'all put that up? Because you can't start a family with a two-bedroom house. You could. But the guy better be snapping off his balls after he gets you pregnant. And then on top of that, what man wants to move into a house ran by his woman? Now, there are some out there and everything like that, but they fall into the dudes and boys category. I'll make a separate video because I feel like I'm going to have to make that video all over again and specifically title it the difference between men, dudes, and boys. And I'll give you a very detailed description of how to figure it out. You'll get an actual map. And when you look at the map, you'll actually go, this path doesn't lead to that. He, mm -mm, no, no, no. Watch out for that troll at the end of the road. And for the zombies that's going to be coming, let me tell you, I don't speak in alls. That's like a, too much of an absolute. We don't do that around here. But what I want to tell you is, ladies, if you do not figure this out, the men, they'll decide to leave. And when y'all think that these men from different countries are really picking y'all. No, they're really picking the older women that they can come over here and deal with. And those are the women that's taking care of these morons. And then what they do is they bring in their own women. Go ahead and look at the stats if you want to of marriage rates and everything like that. And I'm telling you, it's going to get more damn alarming and you're gonna be doomed. But listen, I got a solution if you be willing. But we'll talk about that one on Wednesday. Thank you all.